Everything about this episode, you're gonna like. And here's why, because we're headed to a golf course that's one of the best in South Jersey. That is Cape May National Golf Club. And there's a lot of things about this course that are gonna get you excited about playing. So let's zoom in now to Cape May National Golf Club. There on the tip of New Jersey, at the bottom, is a luxurious 18-hole golf course where the price is right. And when you compare it to other golf courses in the area, this one is very good. And it's almost, I would consider it maybe even a private golf course because it's so far to get to. So let's head on into the pro shop where everyone there was very nice and sweet. And we just got on a tee time because we don't make tee times here. We had to take a look at the locker room. This was something that jumped out at us. A very, very nice locker room. And that's, that's always a good thing when you're about to play some golf or when you come back. Very clean. And to start us off on number one, a par four. The nickname of this golf course is the Natural. That is the course surrounded around 50 acres of private bird sanctuaries. And you can see birds throughout this course. Ospreys, hawks, all types of birds are floating around there. Um, birds of prey, wobblers, finches. And for the most part, this course has a ton of history. In fact, Cape May National goes back to its roots in the late 18th. And with a course surrounded by one of the world's largest bird sanctuaries in the state of New Jersey, there's no houses, just pure golf at a championship level. One of the most beautiful locations in the state. And it's it, it, this is a course you want to get out and play. It's a par three there over some water. A difficult par three. You got to stick that one. Another par four starting you over some. And that's par five there, over, over some water. Course was co-designed by President Robert E. Warlock and run by his son, Director of Golf, Zach Warlock, and other members of the Warlock family. It's a Warlock business here. The Cape May National Golf Club is a pretty prestigious par 71. It's a unique golf course built, again, around 50 acres of bird sanctuary. It's also just south of the historic Cape May Courthouse. The par 35 on the front nine measures 3,305 yards from the championship tees and just under 3,000 yards from the white tees. A lot of par threes and par fours that have dog legs left and right throughout the first couple courses. The history of the golf course goes back to the 1800s. Well, not golf course, but the area. This course was built in 1991. It's listed as open year-round and was built also by Carl Lydon along with Robert. It's got carts. It's got a, a, a practice facility. It's got all the amenities needed to get you started to play some great golf. It's got a golf school academy, a, a teaching pro. It's not just cash. It also accepts credit cards. It's overall par 71. And when you take both those front and back tees, you're stretching 6,905 yards from those back back tees. Not that far. The slope is a 136. And the overall rating of this course from those back tees is a 73. So the course does play a little bit challenging. you got to really place the ball on every one of these shots uh, for the most part to line yourself up for a good shot on the second one. The greens were pretty nice. Uh, this was a long par four there, but the tree right there kind of played a factor. Another hole here, just dog legging tight to the right. Got to place a good drive to really get one at it here. That's a par four. Here we are with another par four over some water. There's water throughout this course. There's, there's a lot of water on this course, believe it or not. Plenty of challenges to keep you on your toes, including tree-lined fairways, strategically placed bunkers, and several water hazards. There's also a few blind shots here to make Cape May National especially tricky for those ones that are first time playing it. The classic design is a fair test for any player, and fair enough, why, uh, fairways to score some to score pretty well. This course pretty high on the list. I would and we're gonna rank these courses a little bit later on some of our shorts, but for the most part, this is one of the better golf courses to play within the South Jersey area. When you look at South Jersey area, Wildwood, Avalon, it's got all these beat. The only courses around this area that's got it beat is the private golf courses, Shoregate, uh, the Unions Club, courses that we're hoping to get out and play in. And for the most part, the price was right. Off-season, 
$65 we played in October. It drops significantly down because it's open year-round. It's listed. Summertime gets expensive, but you're, it's well worth it. Look at this par 3 right here over some water. Very picturesque. It does get busy. It's right outside uh, Wildwood, Cape May. It's in Cape, right outside Cape May. It, it's prestigiously located in a spot where you're going to get a lot of people coming through and trying to play some golf. I recommend getting tee times here a week in advance because it is really, really hard to get one out there. This is 18 and really, for the most part, a beautiful, this is my favorite hole right here. You can throw a stinger at it at the end. And that's going to do it for our list. Keep a lookout for more videos to come. We're hitting all the golf courses around the world. This is Go, World Twilight Golf. Launch control, this is Houston. We are go for launch.